This morning started off a little red. As the beginning of May, the rainy season is near in Costa Rica. But honestly, it is a much needed break from the last couple of days, which we are so hot and humid. The best thing to do on such a rainy day is sitting at a balcony and watching the birds in the garden. Let's have a look what we will find. Soon enough, a grey-headed shakalaka enters the scene, climbing in a big tree in the distance. This chicken-like overall brown bird has a long neck and tail, as well as rufous wing feathers. They are usually seen in small flocks parading through the canopy of the rainforest. This particular palm tree in the garden soon caught my attention. It was on and off frequented by a small pale blue bird. It is a blue grey tenaga, a common and widespread bird in the tropic open and semi-open areas. This species is often found as well in villages and gardens. The blue-grey tanaga mainly feeds on fruit, but will also take some nectar and insects. A flock of orange chinnit parakeets is cruising through the treetops in the far distance. I'm not sure if the turkey vulture enjoys the rainy weather as much. And off he goes. I, for myself, definitely need a coffee now. The view outside has not changed that much. Inspired by my observations from the garden, I decided I will do a sketch of the blue grey Tanega. I really like to work with pencils and pens on toned paper and the size of the sketchbook is perfect for smaller studies. I usually finish these studies in a 2-3 to three hour time frame. The initial sketch of the bird is done with a mechanical pencil. This allows me to line out the basic shape and form of my subject. After finishing my pencil sketch of the bird, I switched to a black ballpoint pen. I began drawing the eyes and the bill of the bird. And following the important outlines of my initial sketch. The bird's wing has a certain anatomy, which needs to be understood by the artist. The 
the plumage and the flight feathers are divided in coverts, secondaries and primaries. I wanted to include the palm tree scenery, where I observed the blue grey Tanaga. The bird in the garden uses an old palm front as perch. I think it adds an interesting element to my layout. The flower stand of the palm makes a nice structure to be included as background for the bird. I also decided to include a palm frond in the image, which brings the tropical scenery of flora and fauna even more together. The rufous tailed hummingbird is still drying off of the rain. It is a typical hummingbird of humid tropical lowlands and will visit gardens in some areas. To bring a bit more life into my drawing, I put out my watercolor pocket set and brushes to give the bird a touch of color. This should help illustrating the species nicely in my sketchbook work. The adult birds have a light bluish head and belly, while the tail and wing coverts are bright blue. Females and male birds look similar. According to the information I was finding learning about the blue grey Tanager, there are actually 14 recognized subspecies, differing according to the exact hue of blue of the shoulder patch versus the rest of the plumage. They may be greyish, greenish or purplish blue, with a lavender, dark blue or whitish shoulder patch.
It definitely is a gift being able to travel the world, seeing new species and learning a lot about them. As a wildlife and bird artist, this is a great source of inspiration for me. The blue and grey Tanaga has a distinctive appearance, with a beady dark eye and a short and thick bill. I use a hint of sub green paint to illustrate the palm front and the background. I want it to appear a soft but not distracting element in the scenery, leaving the focus on the bird and its beautifully bluish plumage. I actually believe this handsome blue grey Tenega couple has a nest in the palm tree. I will definitely keep an eye out on the scenery over the coming days. To bring some final highlights into my illustration, I use a white jelly wall pen. It is a great way to make the drawing pop, indicating the lightest areas and backlit elements in the scenery. I use the white pen to define the bird's anatomy and plumage shape where the light touches the surface. I really enjoyed watching and drawing the blue grey Tanaga. And I hope you had fun seeing the illustration coming together. Have you watched some birds today at your home? Of course, I hope you are inspired to create some sketches too. Let us know in the comments so we can share the passion about birds and art together. And finally, the sun is shining again.